Put it on. Okay, it's recording quick. But first, work on this North Yorkshire listed building is going too slowly for Sarah's liking. It's still a work in progress. A lot to do. Back now to beautiful Knaresborough in North Yorkshire, where this former hairdresser's with cellar below and flat above was bought at auction for £120,000 by Peter and Shirley. Their plan was to spend around £10,000 refurbishing the hairdressing salon so that their daughter Sarah could take it on and then turn their attention to the flat upstairs. The building is great to listing with some lovely original features. Peter and Shirley were going into this with their eyes open. So what about budget for the works in here? Could be anything between 10 to 30,000 uh, 30, depending on how far you take it. They planned to turn the salon around in six to eight weeks and gave themselves six months to sort out the flat. Almost five months after our first visit, we're back to see if it's all cut and dry or if it's been a series of bad hair days. My parents taught me what life was about. They say my friends were just an unholy vibe and I should get a haircut and get a real job. is definitely looking the business and with a little help from the beautician mum Shirley things are clipping along nicely. It's gone to plan and we designed it and I think we'll always progress and do some changes with it but we're very happy with it at the moment. The salon was up and running pretty much on time and at the top end of their five to ten thousand pound budget. But there's still quite a bit to do before Sarah, her partner and son Kai can move in upstairs. We're going to move into the flat um, soon. It's still a work in progress. A lot to do. So why the delay? Well, the building now benefits from central heating throughout. But just as I thought, before he could do anything, Peter had to see to those structural issues in the cellar. The biggest problem that we had when we first uh, acquired the property was the, the cellar. Uh, structural problems down there. There was a window that was falling out, lintels. We've got to put five lintels in, replastering, uh, knocking out. and That was the first price of it, like oh, it say. Off ten years younger. <laughs> yes, always make it safe where you could end up with a pile of rubble. Upstairs, the flat has been updated, and while I'm sad to see the original floorboards covered with laminate, I certainly don't remember a staircase in the kitchen last time. Turns out that in pulling out the old kitchen, they discovered access to a whole room that nobody knew anything about. Previously, there'd been a staircase up here, so we opened it up, got plastering in, Replastered it all, put new floor in, had it all re rewired, and it's turned out as an extra room. It's great. Oh, I do love a hidden room. What a fantastic find. They've still got to look into replacing the window in the living room, and because the building is grade two listed, that's not going to come cheap. But when it's finished, this will be a lovely room. been spruced up and the box room now makes a perfect home for the pet rabbit. But the other big change here is that the attic space has been turned into more really useful accommodation. This was the attic bedroom and it was completely uh, run down, virtually derelict um, and uh, as you can see it's made a nice um, ensuite bedroom and quite a large room really so we're really pleased with it. So far, Peter and Shirley have spent £13,500 on the flat, on top of £10,000 on the salon. They reckon it could take another £15,000 and a further six months to get everything just right. If their final outlay on the renovation does come in at £38,500, they'll be on budget. Their total spend here, including the purchase price, will be £158,500. We asked along two local estate agents to see what they make of the place. 
shop is now up and running. It's uh, a nice conversion. Work still to do in the basement, but it should be a good little commercial unit. Mm. I think the changes have been superb. Uh, they, it's still a work in progress, obviously, but um, it, we're heading in the right direction, certainly. The plan from day one has been for Sarah to run the salon and live in the flat upstairs. But if they were to sell it on, the estate agents recommend selling the flat and shop separately to get the best return. With the value of the shop being somewhere between eighty-five and ninety thousand pounds, the value of the flat being one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty, um, you're looking at a far greater combined total than if you sold it as as one. That's two hundred fifty thousand. As a combined huh? building, you're probably looking at a value of somewhere around at about two hundred thousand. If you were going to market the shop, you'll be looking at a figure probably in the region of seventy-five to eighty thousand pounds. The apartment would be somewhere in the region of one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. If you decided to sell them as a unit, you wouldn't realise the full potential, and you'd probably be looking at a figure in the region of two hundred thousand pounds. Interesting. Selling the flat and shop separately could generate a pre-tax profit of between sixty-six and a half and ninety-one and a half thousand pounds, which really is a cut above the norm. What about renting them out? I think rental potential for the apartment would be around six hundred, six hundred and fifty pounds per calendar month. You're probably looking at something in the order of about seven hundred and fifty pounds per calendar month for the shop unit. Probably somewhere seven and a half to eight thousand pounds a year. The shop you could rent out for something in the order of eight and a half to nine thousand pounds per annum. Those rental valuations could mean a yield of between around nine and a half and eleven and a half percent, which again is streaks ahead. But this has always been one to keep in the family. So how have they enjoyed the whole process? We've all had our own little bits to do, our own roles, and I think Peter's done the majority of all the hard work. Um, but we've all had a, a good input, haven't we? We've all yeah. worked really hard. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Good. <laughs>